This is the Paz Shopping District on Robertson Boulevard in Beverly Hills during what should be the peak of the Christmas shopping season. But thanks to California Governor Gavin Newsom's lockdown for Christmas order, it's deserted. One shop, Kitson's, decided it was time to speak out. They dedicated their store window displays to honor the Kitson people of the year and the hypocrites of 2020. Each of the honorees in the window lived by the mantra, do as I say, not as I do. The distinction couldn't go to a more deserving group of people. These are the elected and appointed officials and influencers that have destroyed their life with their orders while refusing to follow their own rules. And in one instance, the woman of honor said she wasn't aware of the orders she herself issued when she got caught breaking them. As we look along Robertson Boulevard, we see just how much destruction their hypocrisy has caused. Sidewalks that are normally packed even during the off seasons are deserted for Christmas. Posh shops are closed. The famous Ivy restaurant known for A-list celebrities dining on a large patio while massive crowds and paparazzi jam the sidewalk to get a peek at them is shut down, it's deserted. Some businesses have been so badly beaten down by the bad leadership of 2020 that they are still boarded up. For lease signs fill the windows of the shops that didn't make it through the first lockdown and the ensuing Black Lives Matter riots. When I see the destruction caused by their hypocrisy, I can only say that the Kitson's window display is much too forgiving. Among the honorees for the Kitson's People of the Year Award are Los Angeles Mayor Eric Garcetti. His poster reads, I'll turn off your power if you don't obey. Target, Costco, Walmart can all sell non-essential items, but small businesses are forbidden. Hunter Biden's poster reads, Where's my laptop? My China deal's on it. Don't forget, 10% for the big guy. Then we have the original Karen, and she needs no introduction. Now we come to the biggest hypocrite of them all, Dr. Tony Fossey. His poster reads, March 2020, masks are not needed, they don't help. May 2020, wear a mask. Of course, after which he was caught watching a ball game with his friends in the bleachers without a mask. The truth is, if each store devoted window space to a different contradiction from Fozzie, the man who shut down America with his science, there probably aren't enough stores on Robertson to cover them all. Moving on to the window of hypocrites, we have actress Melissa Milano. She advocates defunding the police but calls 911 over a trivial matter. Now we come to the queen of destruction, Nancy Pelosi. She earned the headline, Rules are for thee, not for me which is above the viral photo of her getting her hair done inside a salon without a mask after having ordered them all closed. I think Nancy should get a little more special treatment here. When her hypocrisy was exposed, she blamed the salon owner for quote quote setting her up and said the salon should have told her the rules. I think Speaker Pelosi had a little too much vodka before that statement. She makes the rules. How could she not know them? California Governor Gavin Newsom earned the headline of, I demand a better table at the French Laundry restaurant, and I want to be seated inside with my 22 friends. This statement came just after he ordered all California residents not to have Thanksgiving with their families, and just before he ordered all the restaurants closed to, quote, quote, protect our health. It's no wonder people no longer believe what he has to say. Hopefully another shop will devote a window to Newsom for keeping his own restaurant, Plum Jack Winery, open after ordering all other restaurants in the state closed. Newsom's executive orders have crippled every small business in California, put millions out of work, and thousands more on the street. And finally, Chrissy Teigen's headline reads, I will pay $100,000 to help rioters and criminals get out of jail. We applaud Kitson's for having the courage to speak out, 
and highlight the hypocrisy of those that have been ruining our lives in 2020. It took guts. The store owner told me he's received 19 death threats since putting up the window display. Drop by Kitson to see the display. It's the most enlightened store window that you'll ever see. And while you're at it, send a card to Newsom and Garcetti and thank them for what they've done to make Christmas such a wonderful time of the year for all the businesses on Robertson. Thank you.